Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins at the St. Petersburg Bank. As usual, the bank is full of civilians. Every person present there is getting work done related to their accounts. All of a sudden, three men disguised as hockey players, from the popular Soviet cartoon Puck Puck, enter the bank, with guns in their hands. As soon as they enter the bank, the robbers open fire. Suddenly there is an atmosphere of stampede. They order the employees of the bank to fill their bags with cash. Some of those robbers deploy their positions at different places. One of them screams for the manager, and even goes to his cabin. When the bank manager is not found, the man raises a girl present in the bank and points a gun at her. And warns if the bank manager does not come out, he is going to shoot the girl. Only then a man appears in front, with both his hands raised. The robber goes up to the man and knocks him down with a punch, and demands the key of the vault. After taking the key, the robber forces the man to take him to the vault. On the way to the vault, the robber suddenly lowers his gun in the middle, and asks the manager to forgive them, because they are not doing it for themselves, but for poor children. He says they are going to donate all the money to orphanages and hospitals. The manager thinks a little, and asks if he is telling the truth. The robber laughs and says idiot, come on, go ahead and open the vault. Then as soon as the door of the vault opens, the robber takes the manager inside with him. But there the robber does not see any money, and gets angry. Then the robber sees another door, and both of them move towards that door. As soon as that door opens, the robber sees a room full of cash. The robber happily starts putting the money into the shopping cart. He reacts as if he has been taken to some paradise, dancing and enjoying while robbing the bank. As he forces the manager to help him, the robber sees the bank ID, and realizes that he is not the manager of the bank. It is then revealed that he is St. Petersburg Police, Major Igor Grom. After that, the movie goes to a flashback, where those robbers enter the bank. At the same time, Inspector Grom is withdrawing money from the ATM. Grom hides behind the ATM seeing those robbers. While hiding, Grom imagines several attempts to fight the robbers, but he is caught in his imagination every time. In his last imagination attempt, he succeeds but he thinks that the robber may hurt the civilians. Then suddenly, he sees the bank manager, who is kneeling beside him to hide from the robbers. Left with no choice, he goes in front of the robbers dressed as the bank manager. Then we are shown the same scene from back, where the robber comes to know that Grom is not a bank manager. At the same time, Grom knocks the robber down with one punch. And as Grom leaves from there, a security guard of the bank comes out of the washroom, and asks Grom, who are you, and what are you doing here? Grom shows him his ID card, and informs him about the robbery. He suggests him to hide himself and his shocker in the washroom. After some time, when the first robber does not return with the cash, the leader of the robbers feels suspicious, and orders his other comrade to look after the first robber and the manager. The robber heads towards the vault room, and finds the robber sleeping on the money in that vault room, and tells him that it is getting too late, come on let's move. Meanwhile, the robber outside gets even more angry, and starts shooting at the bank shed. Suddenly, we see a shopping cart is coming on its own, in which both the robbers are lying unconscious. And then Grom also comes out. The robber, seeing his comrades unconscious, starts firing indiscriminately on Grom. Grom hides besides the ATM, avoiding the bullets. As soon as the robber gets out of bullets, the robber runs away with a bag full of cash. Then we see Grom come into the hall, and asks the twin brother of the security guard of the bank to keep an eye on the unconscious robbers, and leaves from there. The robber who had run away from the hall goes out, and sits in a car. That car belongs to those robbers, and one of their companion is waiting for them. They try to flee, while Grom follows them. The robber's car collides with a truck while escaping. One of them who is driving gets injured, and remains there and the other robber gets down from the car and starts running, and Grom chasing him. Afterwards, the robber enters a building, and Grom also follows him. And enters the same building. Grom punches the robber from behind and knocks him down. Now a fight ensues between Grom and the robber. Both of them are heavy on each other. Somehow the robber knocks Grom down and tries to escape, by climbing to the top floor of the building. But Grom does not stop chasing him. Grom tries climbing the building, but ends up hanging, the robber tries to make him fall by throwing bundles of cash at him, but fails. Again the robber tries to escape, while Grom chases him. Eventually, while running away, Grom knocks down the robber by punching the door. Then the police arrive at the bank, and see the situation is under control. The police ask the civilians about the man who fought the robbers, and a receptionist describes Grom's appearance. The police immediately recognize that it was Grom who did this. 
we see news channels telecasting news about the failed attempt of a robbery in the bank, and the robbers getting arrested with all the civilians unharmed, just because of a man, Major Grom. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.